forever. Who want to be mad forever? Who want to be mad at a certain racial demographic of people with no solution? If we continue to climb up here with no solution in sight, no solution in sight, what you you are. That's a major issue I've always had with Cynthia G's channel. It's the fact that she doesn't bring solutions. So what's the point of watching such an individual who brings no solutions and keeps doing the same thing she's complaining about and just complaining? I don't even have anything to relate to this lady on because I don't even hate black men because I don't even need anything from them. I don't want them like that. They're literally a detriment to society at this point. If you don't never evolve and you don't never grow past what you are upset about, you don't never become vulnerable to the audience. You don't never let the audience know, hey, this is the reason why I feel the way that I feel. See, nobody's telling you the reason why they feel the way that they feel when they're agents of chaos. When they're agents of chaos, they ain't even honest and open enough to share with you, hey, you know, I got pregnant by this guy and you know, he didn't want to be with me, and that's why I was upset. But, you know... I don't get that, though, with the whole pregnancy thing. Why do people blame other people um, in these situations? You're never going to fix your situation if you blame other people when you get pregnant. You're probably going to get pregnant again by somebody you don't want. Because you're blaming the, someone else. It's like, you know, you got in a relationship with someone who wasn't uh, going to stick around and you got pregnant and everything, but you have to understand, this. Uh, there's going to be plenty of men who are going to do this, and this person is not going to change. They're going to continue to get people pregnant and walk away. What can you do? You know what I mean? You could have even something a little bit more, uh, I guess, triggering, uh, so to speak. You could have a situation where you hook up with somebody and they took the condom off, or um, you hook up with somebody and you know they for whatever reason did not um stop or something you know you could have all those type of situations happen and you could continue to blame people and say that people are you know pieces of shit they try to take off their condoms and fuck you in the middle of um having sex with you they um, try to go past your boundaries while having sex with you, when you could actually think about what you could do in those situations to stop that from happening. So then you don't get pregnant by one of those type of fools. Like, I mean, like, you, you're going to keep on getting pregnant by fools if you don't learn your lesson. You uh, say that uh, being pregnant in these situations were not ideal and they were not the what you wanted for yourself well then don't make the same decision again learn from that decision that you made in your life you know and don't do it again so then you don't have to be mad continue oh after a couple of years i got over it see nobody see you got to be real enough to speak to people from that place so that people can understand you more 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 but to me in my mind if you don't want to see black male children enter this world in my mind as a black woman why would you even sleep with black men like it, it does you want to be gone what you say what you can't even walk away from yeah that's the main thing she constantly complains about black men and then after that, she tries to act like, you know, she's going to still be with black men. I never get it. It's like, if you think they're all these bad things, then why are you with them still? But I mean, like, I don't even care really at that point because it's like, I don't really understand the anguish and anger with black men. And I certainly don't understand the attraction to black men. So this whole concept is foreign to me because I don't understand the anger and I don't understand the interest. I have neither of these attributes to my opinions on 